Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Dale Home campaign. This is episode 5. We pick it up from turn 18 in the summer season of 186. So, uh, we end the last episode as some yellow turban threats are popping up around us. You have the last remaining army of Huang Shao over here taking our farmland in Ye, which is his only territory now since Tao Tian actually did his job and took Dong over here. Uh, Zhang Jiao. We found him on the west side, which was a little shocking. And I'm thinking about actually attacking him with Zhou Tai, because I think we can just wipe this out. We might be limit testing a little bit to see how strong Zhou Tai is, but I think that's better than taking the city, because we actually are not equipped to take the city since we made the decision to not recruit any um, siege weapons in our army or just not recruit units at all and just rely on our beginning Imperial army for the rest of this campaign. So I think we just turn this army around, wipe out this group, and then wipe out Huang Shao, and then leave this to all our allies. These subjects are doing quite well and they're marching up. So I'm going to first auto resolve this fight, which I don't believe he has any items, so it doesn't really matter. Now these are just rebels spawning because of the high fervor in the north. Oh, we actually lost 35, which is actually more than I thought. Uh, we'll just be... I don't think we need money, but I think release is fine. We'll get replenishment. I'm... Oh, we got a captured officer. I don't think we're going to chase him outside of the zone. Yeah, I'm a little worried if we go outside the zone, we actually just lose our replenishment. It's better if we stand inside. Even if it's very small replenishment, we'll take it. We got a female. We got a sentinel. She's an agent. She's not very good. I think we just fire her. Oh, right. It's very hard to fire people in our faction. Well, at least she's warlord. Plus what warlord? Plus two. So not that strong, but we'll take her. Hmm. Yeah, because firing takes a lot of effort for us. So I guess we'll keep her. I guess that's a problem with all this uh, free generals we're getting. So done. He's a. Hmm. He has an item. He's, he's willing to spy, so he's not a spy. I do like warlords, but I think we're pretty good right now. Alright, so we moved our army back, and then we're gonna summon the people we sent back to heal Chen Pu and Kong Rong. And they'll just come assist in this fight. So I think what we're going to do is move them into the reinforcement range. Alright, swap their stance and just take on this fight. Well, assuming they can reach them. Hold on. Can we backspace this out? There we go. We'll have them attack them and actually just try to win that. But before, we're going to clear out a few more things. Now this fight, he does have an item, Silver Diviner. It's nice, but it's not essential. Plus two morale is not a big deal. So we'll just roll the dice and see if we get the 61% capture. Well, we kill him. Let's see if we got the capture. Nope. Alright, so it is a waste of a silver item, but saves us a little time, and we don't really need the Diviner at all. Alright, so he gets flexibility. He's in the key core position, so that should help out. And we can upgrade this. Alright, I'm okay with the Simon setup. Alright, so let's get this fight started. Who you fun? Leveled up. Yeah, I, th I don't know. I think we build him as a normal general. I don't think we're using him as any assignment character or even administrator going forward. We're just going to hang on to him. We could start spending money to rush these buildings just because we are making a ton of money and we're not actually spending them on the military. So it seems to make sense if we start speeding things up a bit here. Um, what would we like here? We probably want the, the administrative office. And we can rush that as well. 
All right, tier three requires a small regional city. So we'll hang on to tier two for now. We'll go for the extra food production. Only because that's where the reform can let us hit tier four really quickly. And then tier five. And then here's where you get the other tier four for the balanced income version. All right, let's get this fight going. I don't know how this is going to go. We're trying to fight 2,000 people with Zhou Tai. I, I think it could work. Let's test it out. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in this fight. Now, the problem with this fight is that we could run out of time. And we could also get Zhou Tai knocked off his horse. Uh, both of these are possible scenarios. Other than that, I think we should be fine. Alright, let's run him up. And then the reinforcement needs to go hide. Alright, let's go. Now the forest is going to be tough for us because if we can't see their spear, they should have seven of them. We could run into it. I do want to kill off this cavalry first. 60 messenger of heavens, very strong. Uh, we don't want to duel, at least not right now. Oh! Right, we don't have troops, so they are actually going to fire on us. Hmm, that's fine. It does suck a little bit, but we heal, so it's not a big deal. I'm not going to charge in until we see all the spearmen. They're scared of us. I want to chase that cavalry down. Right, shouldn't be any spear here. It's in an opening. Alright, we'll be able to damage their morale and also do some splash damage. Kill like eight of them. That's not too bad. Alright, they're running out of ammo already. Alright, see. They have spearmen in here somewhere. I'm not charging in, even though that looks super tempting. They're just not going to hurt, because we heal. Alright, 14 ammo. It'd be really funny if they had fire arrow and they're lighting themselves up, but it seems like they don't have fire arrows. Alright, we gotta be really careful in the forest. Alright, spear. Where's everything else? Where's the rest of their army? They have way more than this. Ah, uh, 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 there are some other spheres. Okay. So we're going to charge out and kill the cavalry. This is what we want to kill. I guess timer wouldn't be an issue because we're actually attacking here. So we have infinite amount of time. Alright, I don't want to get surrounded. That's not what I want. I want to keep charging because I never get tired. I'm going to see if I can maybe pull one away, but if I do, the rest will charge up towards my other general, so I don't think we'll don't do that just yet. The generals aren't too much of a problem. They do provide a lot of boost to their nearby units, which is rather annoying. Let's exchange a hit with him. Yeah, we outrun all of them. We have 108 speed. That 25% speed from mobility skill really kicks in here. Now this skill has 30 second cooldown, so it's very fast. If we get back in, smash the ground. There we go. And then we just charge out. Please charge out. Alright. 
All right, they're coming to chase. What's right here? Spearman gay. Okay, this isn't working as well as I wanted to. They have way too many passive buffs. I think we need to pull some of their generals away in a duel. But first we'll just heal up. No need to rush this. Are they still shooting at me? Yeah, health is going back up. If we're willing to duel, let's say. Wonder if he will challenge me. Mm, he doesn't. So we can't actually pull him. Wait, chosen the eight mortals? They're Z units, right? I don't think they knock you off your horse. Oh man, they're just hiding in here. Alright, let's fight here. Smash. Alright, they're almost half dead. Get charge on them. Oh, they blocked it. Yeah, we get a kill about three on a charge, and then we just pull out. Man, we did lose a lot of health though. Alright, no spears. That looks clean. Can we chase them out? There we go. I want someone to start routing so we can spend some time just chasing the unit down and heal on the way as well. Can't chase too deep in there. Alright, this might work. We might get them to be running out. Can we do- oh, getting too deep, too deep, too deep. Get out, get out. Alright, keep running, keep running. Unless they got a morale boost. Ah, uh, they got a morale boost. Gosh, yellow turban generals are annoying. I need to see if any of them have recovery. Alright, condemn. So these hurt. I and mean, they still want to chase us. We can get into a fight with Ma Yuan Yi. And then just flood this guy with our other generals. Hold on, hold on. Where's our range? We'll pull him at the edge. Actually, we should wait till we heal up a little first. And then we would want him and him to be nearby. Right, let's run them over. All 
Right, what happens when we disappear from vision entirely? They don't do anything. They just retreat back into the... Mm. Are there spearmen in front of them? Yes, they are. Oh, crap. Yeah, come chase. Please chase. See, they're only willing to chase so far. But I don't want to start dueling with so little health. Uh, we got hit by Condemn. That hurt. I'm trying to figure out which one I can kill. Okay, the guy in the turban is someone I can kill. But he's not willing to duel anyways. They hurt. Retreat. Yeah, that Condemn ability really hurt. And then they get 50% armor and 15% melee evasion on top. And then... Oh, 33% attack rate. I don't know if we can beat him in a duel. Silver weapon? Plus 33% attack rate? Plus condemn? Plus... I mean, we can't deactivate this because we have the... So these two, we won't let him use. But this is passive. And he also has O-Thorn. Wow. And Inspiring Surge. Oh, ridiculous. Alright, we're going to cut till we're full healed. And then we'll come back and try to fight again. Alright guys, we're back. So, I wasn't just sitting around waiting to heal, I was harassing with the general. We actually took out their cavalry and also, I think, two retinues of units while we were waiting to be healed up. We basically just had to avoid him. His condemn is the only thing that really hurts us. And I'm trying to lure them out of the forest with our other generals just by putting them out on the field so they would chase us a little bit. And it seems to be working. I'm really hesitant to launch the duel against uh, Ma Yuan Yi here, just because he's so decked out with abilities that I'm worried that we would actually just lose to him and then that would kind of end our you know run here because our advantage is charging at units and then being able to heal up uh, this looks like you know the pull arm Z but I don't think it is so I, I think it's fine if we charge into it but I don't want to test it out so I think we, we do still want to kite we don't want to get hit by condemn and we want to kite these guys out to attract them away from that forest position, which that part we're successful in doing. And then we can have, you know, an opening to actually hit some of their units. Uh, stay away from that. I think we can charge into that. I'm just not sure. The The symbol makes me kind of scared, but I don't think they have the long pole arm. They have two short Z. So they, and they're purple units, so they shouldn't have, uh, you know, charge reflect. Alright, so continue to pull them, make sure they're safe. I'm going to give that charge a try. Moment of truth. Should be fine. Okay, we're fine. I gotta also make sure they don't get chased. Alright, we wanna cycle charge. We're no good standing still. I wouldn't say we're no good. We're just less good standing still. So it's safe to charge that unit too. Stay away from him. That condemn really hurts. Basically that condemn is the only thing that really harms us. Alright, we'll just charge from one unit to the next, because, you know, no fatigue. And then whenever we have the ability, just use it. It doesn't really smash that well, but it's better than nothing. And we're getting them out into the open, so that's great.
Let's just wipe out this group here first. There's only 38 of them left out of 60. They're half unit sized uh, special unit. They have really good charge and really good uh, attack rate, but right now they're not even fighting back. So. Alright, clearly they're only interested in Chen Alright, we want to hit Clumps. Perfect. Alright, they're turning around. We just charge back again. Don't block me. Ah, he tried to hit me. Yeah, charging is going to do most of our damage. There we go. I can perhaps kill Zhang Zhao in the back right here. Oh, here he comes. The really annoying guy. Well, Ma Yun Yi died a very tragic death. He got pulled apart by horses. Truly, that's the punishment. They tie your neck, your limbs to five different horses, and then they, you know, slap the horse at the same time, let them run in five different directions, and your body tears apart. He was the inside man inside of Luoyang uh, when uh, Tang Zhou betrayed the old turbans. He was supposed to lead the strike against the palace on the date of the rebellion. But obviously that never happened because the rebellion was rushed and he was killed off right away. Alright, I think Zhang Zhao has a ability that happens after he dies. Does he have that one? If unit dead. Oh wow. 60 seconds of invincible plus 25 morale in a hundred range. Okay, we gotta be careful. Not fight for 60 seconds after he dies. That guy's gonna become invincible. And mad, probably. Oh, let him route. We'll let him route. We'll hit him one more time. Make sure he lack the health to bounce back. 5.6. Five point four. Don't be so gentle. Get into like two K. Oh no. We hit for five point six in one hit. Alright, he's mad and they're invincible too. So he's mad, he's mad, he's charging. Keep running, keep running. Alright. Are you guys in the hundred meter range? I don't think they are. Fallen Oathorn, so he gets a huge damage boost as well, so we can't mess with him. We're going to have to let him lose morale at the end of the fight by killing off all the other units. Alright, I'm going to rotate them over. Free kills right here. Alright, it's one gone. Let's get another charge. That's a terrible charge. Alright, I'm gonna chase for kills. Yeah, I've been basically playing on three times speed, so it's not as bad as this seems. But it's definitely a long fight. And it's gonna be very long. But I think we have it pretty much wrapped with Zhang Zhao dead and most of the troops kinda useless now. We just had to lure them out of the forest. And also stay the heck away from him. He's going to condemn us. Uh, he missed. He missed the damage, but condemn is really powerful. All right, we've got to start rotating everyone over because we're running out of real estate to run that way. Now, we don't have to duel him. We can keep charging him to kill him. Oh, we left one guy go. Look how much damage he did to us. We lost like 4k health there.
I'm gonna break the record on kills on a unit. I think Lubu had our old record. I think 11,600 something. Alright, stay away. Chase them down. Uh oh. Move him that way. Everyone move back. Well, that's a free kill. Wait, isn't there another spear unit here? No, there's no spear unit. Okay. Oh, decline, 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 decline. We're not fighting Ma Yuan Yi. We're gonna give the kill over to Zhou Tai. Alright, most of them are spear units left. Just gonna reject that. Now, uh, how are we gonna kill the spear? We're probably just gonna let them charge us rather than us charging them, and then we'll slap them with ability and then just run out and repeat. Right, we're almost at a thousand kills already. So, this guy is not a spear. Oh, but the spear is coming to block for him. He's not that strong. But I think he still hurts because of the death, dead o thorn. That boosts damage by 100%. Now, would you like to charge us? See, we're waiting for them to charge us, and then we slap the ability on them, then we get out. And I think we still want them to spread out. That way the enemy forces will spread out. There's only two things that we can charge. This one. I right, get out before the general comes. And then this guy right here. Everyone else we just have to grind down slowly. I'm right, just going to put ourselves right there. Come attack us. Alright, then we're going to pull out. There we go. He's alone. Alright, we're over a thousand. About a hundred away from breaking the record. Oh, they're both willing to duel us. I, I'm willing to duel him. Hold on. We can make this happen. Let's slow it down a little. Alright, we need that analyzed weakness to come over. He doesn't have any active abilities that can do much. Disorient doesn't do anything in, in combat. So as long as we get this on him. No, decline. Not dueling. Yeah, we should be able to win this. Now we're going to send him out to attract their attention. So they don't mess with Cheng Gong. Come chase me. Alright, he should be able to kill him. And then he's probably going to go mad again. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Oh, he didn't. Oh, they, they had no relationship. Okay. We can stand here and fight a little bit if we want. Just because we're on foot now. But I prefer to be on horse. Let's get back on our mount. Alright, he did his job. Bounce out a little. Uh, we're not on our horse. Cut away to our horse, come on. They're chasing him.
Alright, they're dead. Alright, chase them down. Move them back. Ooh. All right. Let's make sure everyone's safe. I mean, in this case, I guess we could just dismount and just fight them. There we go. Alright, everyone else is good. Well, that's a good hit. Bring them over here. Alright, he's doing it. Please route. Maybe he can come help. You know, whether they're distracted, maybe he can come help. Just so they run back into him. There we go. Alright, we'll let him chase the dead one. He can take the fresh one. Lose a little bit of our kill count, but let's play more efficient this way. We're gonna lead them over here as well. They're all super tired, I bet. Yep. Well, I'm fresh. Dreadbringer, let's go. Ooh. Oh, strategist in trouble. They can go around, so they kind of chase into him again. Alright, they're routing. Chase that. Get back on your horse. Wherever your horse is. Alright, they're down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. And a very strong general. Well, I'm kind of really scared to duel. Because look at the damage. Alright, Jota, we still need you. Alright, we need these guys to be scattered. So we can kind of fight them one by one. So even though it doesn't look like they're braced, I'm just scared to charge in. I think we'll just stop right here, let them fight us. And we just won't do any charge damage. And then we don't have we don't have to dismount. We can just fight it like this. As long as we don't charge in, we're fine. 
顽强不屈，抓紧！鼓起勇气。And then when he routes them, they can come in and send them away as he go to the next one. There we go. To the next one. This last group is going to be a little bit difficult. We're probably going to have to split our forces again so that they split their forces. All right, don't charge in there. Don't charge in there. Just stand next. All right, wait for them to come fight us. Come on, be brave. There we go. All right, we're going to send... These two this way, these three this way, so they split up again. Uh, these are mere flesh wounds. Yeah, they have two armor piercing damage. They're not gonna hurt us at all. We have 75 armor. Just a matter of time before they fall though. Come come chase us. Alright. See opening charge. Actually, we'll let him just... We'll let him kill it. Alright, that guy finally split off. Is there someone else still alive? No. Okay. All right. How do we make this happen? All right. We're gonna go kill that. They braced the wrong way. They braced the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Now we get to hit them. Uh, Coron, Coron. Oh, they're routing. The morale finally hit them. All right, I want to kill him. Let's see if we can. Make sure no one lives. Let's see if we can. He has a lot of health. How much do we hit? Oh, we hit 3k per hit? Okay, all right, we can kill him. And we killed 14, 58, 59 if we kill him. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, bear with us. It's already been a almost two hour fight here in game time. Yeah, but Jotai is ridiculous after you get that O-Thorn effect. I mean, think about it, before the patch, he could do this without getting it. Alright, is there anyone else still I can kill? I can get a nice even number. Alright, good. This group is my. And then we'll get 1531. Yeah, sounds good. That's going to be the number to beat going forward in future campaigns. Probably can only be beat with Zhou Tai or Lü Bu playing as the Lü Bu faction. Even the regular Lü Bu can't do this. You need to have recovery and fatigue immunity. Or else there's just no way. Alright, that took way too long, but 
it did its job. Zhang Zhao has been defeated in battle, just like his other two brothers. Now we just need to make a push for his land. Okay, we got him. He's not that strong, so I don't mind him. I'd rather get this item though, but it's fine. They're going to just equip it on other generals, so we're going to just execute these guys. Ma Yuanyi is very strong, very well built, um, so I think we're... Oh, he's also their heir. More than happy to destroy him. We actually didn't lose any health in that fight uh, for Zhou Tai or the other general, so big win. Um, we probably want charge bonus or extra melee attack rate. Probably extra melee attack rate first and then charge bonus. Because we don't need final push either. Alright, let's make him stronger first. And now we should just be able to delegate this win. Oh, we can't reach. Well, that's sad. Alright, so their job is going to clean up these two small counties, and then we've got to focus on these cities which require sieging turns. Uh, that's what's holding us up right here as well. The main Imperial army will turn around and deal with Huang Shao and his army, which isn't small. So if he comes and attack us, we're probably just going to retreat back towards the city. Which is what I expect him to do. But I don't know about my allies, whether they'll come help or he'll just try to take the city. But he doesn't have siege weapons, so that's also going to be protected. The Emperor leveled up, so all new units will get plus one rank. But that's not useful because we don't plan on recruiting any unit at all. So I think we might just go for some more authority. Like this will get plus eight, this will get plus four, this will get plus eight. Hmm. Let's give him just plus 8 authority for now. And then the other court notification is just him being unhappy. But it's actually stabilized a little bit. Loyal. Loyal's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. We could continue to speed up the build here, but I think this one turn is fine. We probably want to push this to a city just to build another building maybe a temple just to take care of this uh, fervor situation we're going to need to dump assignments if we want to get fervor under control we need the commander assignment to really reduce 15 fervor that's the only way because there's so many neighboring counties yeah, even at that state we need a temple building and then we need to help push the fervor lower in the surrounding areas or else rebellion will just keep happening and then everyone's going to be stressed out over that. Um, Alright, we'll take care of that later. I think we're good. Check our spy screen. Handang is just hovering here to see if he gets any more interesting characters. Right now, not really. Same thing with Tsal Tsal's faction. Do we have any more interesting turncoats? Not really. Ooh, a lot of turn codes, but no one really interesting. Okay, and we don't need to do anything in court. Um, diplomacy wise, maxed out on trade. We're not really building up a force at all, so it really doesn't. It's not going to happen. We could sign a couple of non aggressions, especially since they're willing to pay us. I actually don't need money. But I don't want to give him 0.4 for free. I kind of want to... Oh, we can actually vassalize him. It's not hard. We can vassalize the bandits. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but... I don't see why not. Alright, we'll pay him. Probably have to add a zero here. Alright, that works. We guarantee him autonomy because we can't annex bandit factions anyways. And uh, we'll give him a weapon and pay him a thousand. And he will be our... Well, Dingman doesn't like this. Oh, too bad. Oh, he's at war with the Empire. 
Alright, fine. Demon has Li Bu. We shouldn't mess with him too much. Han Sui is not at war with anyone, so... 25. It's doable, but do we want to do it? That's the other question. Alright, we'll leave it as is. We won't mess too much with the Western factions, and we'll just maybe distribute some of the weapons we got. We didn't get any polearm weapons, so they can't use the twin. The twin Kendrick Zian can only be used by sentinels. Like him. And this can be used by strategists. Hold on. Chen Gong probably deserves it. He's going to be very useful in a lot of our fights. And... Okay, they auto-equip, so that's good. I'm going to give him this girl deployment just so that we can suicide the cavalry group in, in different places. This group can die because they can re-muster. These can't die, so we've got to keep these safe. They're healing up quite nicely. A lot of them are actually close to full health, which is pretty amazing. Um, Alright, we're good. Let's... Uh, oh. oh, I know what happened. The Jian was on He Jian, who was up here, so now we moved it down, so we have a satisfaction hit because of the authority. Okay, maybe we can fix that. Maybe we can fix that. Yu Jin, same thing. Huh, he can only equip this one. He doesn't have the other variant. Interesting. Nope, can't fix it. Oh well, too bad. Uh, let's continue. Alright, Huang Shao is attacking us, so we are going to pull back. Alright, living in harmony. So it seems like our subjects are doing their job. They're pushing into Zhang Bao's territory. He only has two, and he only has this army left. Liu Bei should be able to take care of that. Alright, he's coming up to the farmland. I don't want him to take it. I mean, I guess he could. We'll just trade it back. It'd just be expensive for us. Not the end of the world. Alright, heroic victory. Uh, I should fight it and cut it out. And just use Zhou Tai for the same method. So we're going to move our other unit up just as reinforcement. So they can he can build bonds with more than just two characters. So we can be more flexible in where we use him in the future. And I'm going to fight this and cut it out to the end. See you guys at the end. Alrighty, made quick work of that. I'll occupy here. Alright, one more. Oh, we have He Yi waiting for us, but that's no trouble. They don't even have spear units here. Oh, one or two more here, but really nothing compared to the fight we just had. Uh, Chen Pu really want Exemplar for the group, so I think we want to go this way. Uh, down here is where things are still messy. So we're still kind of waiting to recover a bit, especially our frontline units need a few more turns, so I'm not sure if we're ready to just strike at them. And it's not like He Jin is such an amazing general that we can take on a full-powered Huang Shao. So I'm debating whether we want to play it more defensively. We could definitely do an ambush trap. I think that might be the most efficient way to deal with them. They're all 45% around here. There's no really treacherous terrain. Oh, 70 right here. So we're going to go right here. Set an ambush. See if he bumps into us or he goes back to save his farmland. Uh, they're clearly going up to take the territory, so that's great. Dofu leveled up. We want to get conscription on him so that we can free Huang Gai up to do other stuff. Alright, Luoyang's pretty much full build. We need reforms. Uh, other than that, we're just waiting for rebellions. They're hovering around here for now. I'm peeing. We'll just take the level 3 farmland. And we'll upgrade this to a city, get an extra slot to see if we can fix the corruption issue. Not corruption issue, fervor issue. 
and we don't need any more food so we're gonna cancel it we don't not, not only do we not need food we don't need to speed up construction anymore and we'll free up this slot for a commander to come take down fervor huh general who give tranquility to the north indeed we're doing that now do we actually need that on someone as in would it actually do much campaigns uh movement range that's nice extra speed on retinue that's also nice but maybe not on him i guess he's the only one with retinue and their cavalry so all right our dear brother-in-law general who give tranquility to the north very fitting title very deserving all right this is also upgraded to tier three so we don't have much to do here either and we're looking to close out the last county over here so there really wouldn't be any threats anymore yeah all right let's continue all right so john ball summon Hui over here and then this is zhang jiao's new stack with zhang kai he's gonna cause a bit of a problem in the Yu's faction over here they're continuing to siege down the town here, so it should be resolved in the next turn, I hope. They pulled back to defend. We might just pick up the easy target for now. Alright, we capture both. Neither have items, but no need to spare them. We'll get replenishment whenever we can. Some extra experience. Now the goal isn't to continue to fight. We do want to continue to heal. We'll give Nobel opportunity. Looks like he's going to crush Nobel though. He might crush us as well. We just retreat if he does. Alright. Our main battlefront is here. Can we give him something useful for the group? Well, that campaign movement range is nice, but we kind of already handed that out. Extra armor. Enable scare. Nah, there's nothing he needs. Okay. Okay, the defense is gone. I'm gonna give everyone a little bit of experience. We'll just delegate it, because I think we can reset the generals a little bit. They can heal if they need to. Alright, Zhou Tai is getting even stronger here. We'll get. F yeah, we'll get Fury on it. Fury? Fury? I guess Fury is the one we need. Night battle is not important because we're battling groups. Post battle loot. Yeah, this is probably the only one that's useful. Another bodyguard. Okay. Alright. We'll recall three people to go heal. We'll keep Trempu on the field. But if we summon him out, we'll lose that reach bonus. No, but guess we have time, because we can't take this small city anyways. Okay, I think that's all we really needed to do here. Rebellion started, just gotta put it down. Get our lumber yard upgraded. Oh, Master Craftsman, kinda interested, but we don't have any industry. We actually don't have any industry in our entire faction, so once again, fingers crossed. 
Oh, maybe. Uh, didn't get the item. Second chance. Nope. Alright, this way he also has conscription. So I guess we could free up Huang Gai soon. Oh, DJ also has it. Uh, we get a rebellion next turn. How lovely. Alright, we have a few free assignment slots. So over here, they're coming back. So we actually don't have the bonuses. Okay, maybe this is our chance to get Huang Gai out here and lead you back in there. Yeah, come out and do something for us. They can be the new group that farms here. And then we can have a replacement for Huang Gai next turn. And then I do want my leader to continue to level up. So we'll do the Quell on Rest reform. Public order plus fervor reduction. And then, do we still want the mustering bonus? It doesn't apply because we're not actually mustering any troop, so I guess we don't need it. And we probably want to boost peasantry here as well. Yeah, we're good here. We have an army to fight rebels next turn. Spies. Oh, and we have enough political influence point to fire someone. Kind of forgot about that for a little bit. Just because our court is actually in a decent shape. Right. Chen Deng? He's the son to the faction. Chen Gui's son. Why doesn't he want to work there? We're about to find out. He's in Anping. Okay, so he's up here. All right, it's just a family business here. He's part of the army right here. I don't know why he's mad. He has a very nice background too. That whole family, Chen Gui, Chen Deng, and their son, their grandson. Uh, Chen Deng, men of all seasons, plus 35 commandery line of sight. At least it's an interesting one. Not sure if it's a useful one. Alright, I think we're good to go. We'll just end turn, assuming... Do we get more bonuses here? Empowered? Like, I don't know, do we get more for stacking it? I think we fire Galwan. There we go. Bureaucrats officially down to 6. I mean, it was a 0, didn't really matter. We lose two food and we get better income because the salary situation works out better now that we only have one eunuch. Uh, it's only a 10% hit. Alright, let's just continue. Alright, Hanfu got destroyed. A little sad. And Liu Bell's army got wiped as well. But they had to fight that. So they're kind of injured. This might be our chance. We're not healing right now because of the assignment timed out. So we might use this army against them. But I'm not sure if that's a wise idea. They're not weak. Uh, meanwhile, He is mounting a defense here. Okay, we might start pulling them back to fight over here. He Man is defending the last city of Zhangbao. They successfully took that, but Liu Bei's army is nowhere to be seen, and Chen Deng's army is nowhere to be seen, so I think it was a tough fight for them. Um, and obviously Han Fu died here. So they're still kicking the yellow turbans, but it's only basically one and a half brothers and Huang Shao is slowing us down back here. So we might just reset this army back, uh, you know, weaken them from Zhongshan and have this army go face off with Huang Shao next episode. I don't know, Liu Chong's not really making an effort. We can ask them to come and help. I don't know if they're actually going to listen, 
but overall, things are going pretty great. Uh, Gongdu is starting to hit his stride. Uh, he has three county now as he's coming into Liu Yan's territory. But he's not going to affect our win condition. We just have to defeat all three brothers. So five of Zhang Zhao's county plus one of Zhang Bao's and it'd be over. So I hope you guys enjoy this one where we really put Zhou Tai to the limit here. But he's just ridiculously strong. And we just have to take down these four cities that's really slowing us down uh, with their walls. And then we'll be okay and finish this campaign up. So see you guys next time. Bye.